And welcome to the final part of Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. It all ends here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that wasn't even rehearsed. And I am your friendly neighborhood, Mala, and I am here to peanut gallery the shit out of this commentary. Hello. <laughs> I like how you fucked that up just right off the bat at the beginning of the video. Good, good fucking job. You so know what? I will take advantage of invincibility frames. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you know what else takes advantage of invincibility eye frames? <laughs> Fighting games. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, a lot of speedrunners take those. Especially speedrunners take advantage of those during, like, Metroid runs especially. Oh, hell Metroid. yeah. We love clipping in iframes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> don't, don't get beat up by a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is going on here? Yeah, okay. Me trying to exit. You fucking lied to me. You said you would ding dong the ring ring and you did not. You fucking lied. Oh, we going to Mario Boy. I just realized the little twisty bit at his fucking ear. <laughs> oh, it's Legos. How is he not taking constant damage? Uh, because he's wearing shoes. I really fucking hope my kids never get into Legos. My husband, oh. I don't think, understands what I mean when I say that I hope his boss steps on a Lego. Oh, like, there's no. Lego in Japan, but I don't think it's a universal, at least in Asia, thing to step on a Lego. Or maybe he just didn't have Lego as a kid. I don't know. Speaking of Lego, there is a certain Lego set that I'm really trying not to pick up because it's $160. That doesn't <laughs> surprise me. Fucking the last well, Lego so, set I did was like 60 So like, they released the Back to the Future DeLorean car. Okay, that's <laughs> that actually pretty so. fucking cool. I yes. really want to pick it up. It's $160. That's collectible, though, so I get it. I mean, they're yeah. all collectible realists. Bye, Piggy! Um, they're all collectible, to be fair, so... Yeah. Also, three little piggies. Three little piggies with a little house made of, uh, hay... Uh, or sorry, sticks. Sticks, wood, and wick. The wick house piggy gonna fuck you up. Have you played Pizza Tower? I have not played Pizza Tower. I I've seen plenty it. of it, but I have not played it. It gives me really bad anxiety, so I can't finish it. So if you would like to <laughs> play it off of my account, please do. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'd like Anyway, to that is Mario Zone completed. Wait, deadass, that was the last boss. Oh, that no, the the, the, that's the last boss of the Mario zone. For some reason, mm -hmm. I thought we were getting our sixth coin and, like... Oh, no, the sixth, the sixth zone is actually short, too. I mean, we'll we'll be going short. underwater. Yep. Oh, I love underwater levels and everything except for Zelda games. Oh, he's a whale. My husband's a fucking stereotype and likes eating whale. To be fair, it's pretty alright. But I don't think well, it's worth killing all the whales in the ocean. Good. Uh, and unfortunately, the great white rhinoceros just became extinct too by oh, the time. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. That's sad. It is very sad. Fucking rich people go into the damn continent of Africa and fucking things up for everyone. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. That's sad. Why would you tell me that? Oh, because I bumped into an article about it on my Facebook while I was on break. Wow. <laughs> at work and Listen, I'm pregnant. Just... You could make me cry at the drop of a hat. How dare you? You want me to fucking cry on your sh- I fucking... will give you a hug. <laughs> no, wait. You don't like hugs. I remember. I'll give you an air hug. <laughs> if I'll make you feel We could do a better. hand hug. Do you know what hand hugs are? What the hell? What the hell is a hand hug? It's when you put your hands together and then you use your thumbs to like wrap around the other person's hand. That sounds cheesy as fuck, and I'm all for it. Hell <laughs> <No>, yeah! <laughs> you get my shit. <laughs> Ding dong! <th> <laughs> I swear to God. 
Uh, and I'm like, 100% this game doesn't fucking ring a single goddamn bell. I rang a couple of bells in the beginning of this playthrough if you've bring your paid attention. Damn noggin. Well, I mean, that, and I think it's to this point, it's just like, well, I have 42 lives. Do I really need any more lives? <laughs> no, but I like the UFO catcher. It's cute. This game is surprisingly very Japanese. Like, I, I know that, like, Nintendo is clearly a Japanese company, and I've actually mm -hmm. passed by the Nintendo HQ a million times coming back from Nara, but, like, um... I'm actually kind of surprised, like, how many Japanese, like cultural thingies are in this and I think this is the, I think this is like like in terms of like all kinds of Japanese culture I think this game is one of the only Mario games that actually has a whole lot of Japanese culture in it. Like, yeah, little references and nods and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, that whole, like, pumpkin level you mentioned, that's, like, nothing but yokai. And, like, that... Sorry, I had a moment where I'm like, oh my god, yokai is, like, one syllable off from being ryokai, and that's how you say Roger! <laughs> Sorry. No, you are fine. Also, Kirby enemy. <laughs> Kirby. That's Kirby. Li that's li that's literally a Kirby enemy. I don't care what anyone tells me. If I but, can um, figure out how to do online play for Kirby or All Star Alliance, I would absolutely play it with you. <laughs> okay. I still need to pick it up, but yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, if I were able to like do. Because, like, as far as I know, it only has land play Mario seeds. Um, so, I would... <sighs> Man. That would be so cool if I could play that online with people. It's so cute and fun. I love Kirby games. Kirby yeah, 64 Kirby... was my shit. Ooh, that's a game I have not touched, like, really? at all yet. Not uh Like, the first Kirby game I actually played was, uh... Technically, it was Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS. Damn. You just really got yeah, your I shit started, started with handholds. I started really late on Kirby. Yeah, my sister and I were fucking obsessed with our Nintendo 64. We played a ton of F-Zero. Yeah, I didn't play... Uh, well, I didn't grow up with the N64. Um, now I have an N64 just because I'm collecting shit, but... um. Yeah, no, I didn't grow up with an N64. In fact, uh, we, for the longest time, we've only had the Super Nintendo growing up until we had uh, PlayStation 2 and uh, GameCube. Hmm. My, um, but, uh, my sister yeah. still has our um, childhood N64. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the uh, N64. I, I picked up the N64 because someone was selling it over here. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's like, okay, you, not only will you get the N64, but you'll get the expansion pack and four additional games for only 40 bucks. That's how much they were selling it for, right? God damn, that's a fucking steal. It is, especially when one of the carts was, <laughs> drum roll please, Majora's Mask. <laughs> oh my god. Have you seen how expensive some fucking GameCube games are? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, another another win moment for me was when I when someone was selling their old white brick and Game Boy with like sixty Game Boy games oh for like gosh. thirty bucks, and one of the Game Boy titles was Metroid: Return of Samus. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Now, if you had a PS2 with some of the old Dot Hat games, you'd be rolling money. I used to own. Uh, well, actually, I think I still have my copy of Dot Hack GU on the PlayStation 2. But uh, I never had the original. I, not, I don't think I've actually ever really played the original Dot Hack game on the PlayStation 2 when I think about it. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot of PlayStation 1 games I want to get my hands on. Yeah, right, I've definitely up. played a whole lot of GU. <laughs> To be fair, GU is pretty good, and if you've ever yeah. watched the anime for it, um, Ali Project does 
the, uh, either the ending or the opening for it, and it's a fucking banger, but then again, everything they do is a banger. Is that the only other secret level? Turtle Zone! Yep, that is the only secret level for the Turtle Zone. It only just wakes up the whale, so... That little, that little scuba divey boy is so cute. It's a scuba diving also we're, in, also, we're inside the whale. Gross. <laughs> I didn't you... connect the dots until, like, I played this game. I picked up this game again on the 3DS, and it's like, you know, it just occurred to me. We're inside the whale. With a bunch of goombas. And yeah. suits. <laughs> no, where'd you kill it? No! <laughs> Oh my god. And you would think that that since this is the turtle zone, uh, you would think that the boss we go against in the turtle zone would be a fucking turtle, right? It's a Prepare big to be surprised. <laughs> it's a big old shark, isn't it? Um, no, it's not even a shark either. But uh, speaking of, the enemies that we do uh, have run across throughout Turtle Zone are sharks with little boxing gloves. Oh my god, that's so cute. But anyway, the boss in this zone is an octopus. Taco. Oh man, I want to ask my husband if he'll make taco in peace sometime soon. He makes really good because, taco. Because it's like, mmm. I see enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> Cause I killed it. Oh yeah. yeah. He got off one little baby and that was it. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you left that fucking tiny octopus parentless. Oh no. Yeah. So my uh my husband, he likes Gundam and um mm -hmm. we came back from an appointment and I was like, okay, well what are we gonna name our kid? And then he was like David, because, like, for some reason that day, he kept confusing my friend's husband's name with David. And I'm like, why are you so stuck on David? And he's like, clearly, we need to name our kid David. And I'm like, no, if we're naming it something American, it has to be something cool. And then he looks at me, dead in my face, and goes, orphan. Also, I love how I just spent 999 coins on five lives. I saw that and was a little shook for you. But yes, <laughs> I had to ask my husband if he knew what the word orphan meant in English. And he goes, no, I saw it on Gundam Orphan and I think it sounds cool. And I was like, it means you have no parents. And he goes, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, welcome to... Mario's castle that's become Wario's castle. He's this clearly, is the last level in the entire game. He's clearly been to Bowser's too many times and is now paranoid. <laughs> also, how the fuck do you afford a castle on a plumber's salary? I, you know what? That's a very good question. <laughs> to be fair, tradesmen make a really good amount of money because nobody fucking wants to do trades anymore. So maybe that's, that's why? I don't know. Also, the economy was much different in the, uh, era of this game. But, uh, Wario's- uh, well, obviously, since this is the last level, it's gonna be tricky to go through, and, uh, there's gonna be some perilous challenges along the way, and there's actually one- this section right here, if you happen to run across a certain floorboard, um, uh, a fist will just keep smashing onto the ground, so <laughs> it's easily it's easily dodgeable if you just, you know, avoid it and stuff. I played this game way too many fucking times. <laughs> uh, obviously. Yeah, I remember the first time I've beaten this game when I was fucking giddy as is like ah oh, feels so good <laughs> i feel like this is probably harder to play when it first came out and you first experienced it than versus now when you're used to playing video games and it's not like awful oh yeah oh that's me oh goodbye me oh nope nope i'm still kicking <laughs> i'm still kicking <laughs> oh no nope, there i go <laughs> Oh, now there's two of me's. <laughs> <laughs> two of me's. Damn, I'm already annoyed. Oh, no, oh, no, no, one of me is enough. <laughs> yeah, no fucking kidding. 
<laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen a series on YouTube called Sanity Not Included, but there's a moment where there's moments where there's animated sequences and these two people go rob a sperm bank and he's trying oh, to tell him the reason no. as to why because he's just like, okay, look, if we don't do this, there'll be two of me running around. <laughs> oh my god, Wario, honey, what drugs are you on? Uh, this is the first time we get introduced to Wario, and he has a kick-ass boss track. I love it, but... I mean, Wario kicks ass in general. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's three phases to this boss. And, uh, the first phase, he's just running back and forth, he jumps, if he jumps, and you're still on the ground, you will be caught in a shockwave, and there could be a chance that those vases up there will, uh, fall down and hit you, so. But thankfully, there is a power-up in between each phase, so. It's a fair advantage. He's so cute, look at him, being a widow foey. <laughs> he did a widow foey. He's living his best e girl life. And now we go against the final phase where he uses the fire flower. We love a good bullet hell challenge. This is not very bullet helly, but. <laughs> Listen, you got smacked. <laughs> And that's the end. Why is that's he the bald? That's the end of Super Mario Land. I Get have my no boy idea. his hat back. Don't be mean. But he's a sore loser. <laughs> Why'd you snatch his fucking wig off? God. <laughs> Man. I love everything about this game. <laughs> like, I grew up playing this game. I have no problem sitting down and playing through this game. I still have Wait, a, why is it still a physical copy of this game. It's, it'll, it'll turn into an M. I was going to say, bitch. D bitch, did you just, like, kick this man out of his house? Was it not yours at all? But I, I love this game. Growing up playing this game, I have no problems going through this game every now and again. And just brings back so many memories, uh, especially of me. I would legit stay home from school just so I can play this game on my Game Boy. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh god, I'm so sick. And then I'll just be hiding under my blanket playing this game. <laughs> to be fair, I've done that shit too. And... This is a good game. I love it. I love everything about this game. You should play it if you haven't yet. Although I am going to be saying that to every single game that I'm playing on playing through for Nostalgia Corner. But, uh, yeah. Hey, that's why it's nostalgic. Because it was good. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some things should probably stay in the past. Who knows? This isn't one of those things. So play it. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, you can still, and it's another one of those games that you can, and, by the way, all the Game Boy games that's presented here, I am playing through the Game Boy Online thing for the Nintendo Switch. You can play these games for free. For free. You don't need For free. <laughs> you love free stuff. But, uh, yeah, no, and... Eventually, it got me curious to what Super Mario Land, the first game, was like. And we'll get into that eventually when the time comes. But, uh, you know, I decided that, you know, I'm going to be presenting the games I grew up playing. And Super Mario Land 2 was one of those games. So, yeah, that's yeah. why it's called the Nostalgia Corner on Blue's mm. channel and not yours. Yep. Yep. Oh also, God. rest in peace, Gunpoi, Ryokoi. Gun rest in peace, piggy. good sir. Little Gun Piggy. Wow, the first American names I've seen in the credits. <laughs> oh, there's a third one. Holy shit. Oh, and another. That's a really funny way to spell Dave. <laughs> That's okay, Dave. Oh, look, he's so baby girl. 
Presented by Nintendo. Yeah. yeah. See I love this game. Ah, everything about it is so good. Ah, oh, Wario, so baby girl. Look how cute he is with his little bug eyes and him little just like thumb up. He like yeah. The next game that is up next on our list is a very, very personal favorite of mine. Grew up playing it, and I still play it to this day. Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES. And once again, Nanako, let Daddy tell you a little something about work. Everyone's the villain. I'm a Super Mario! <laughs> if you don't know that reference, you need to look up the persona for him, Daisy Comics. It doesn't cover the whole game, but it does have a lot of spoilers. But it is also funny as shit. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Anywho, bye. <laughs>